This is the pro data from iodine, and it might be the fastest SSD storage solution in the market. Let's check it out. This is a Synity Gear News video, supported by B&H and CVP. Hi, I'm Johnny from Synity, and I'm here with Mike and Jeff from Iodine, who is the manufacturer and the creator of ProData. That's right. Yeah, I got it right. Um, I would like to, first of all, talk about both of you. You established a, a company how many years ago? Well, we started the company almost five years ago, but we've only been selling our product for just a little bit more than a year now. So it's relatively new in the market. This is our first time having a booth uh, here, and we're really excited to see so many new customers come and check it out in person, see what we've got to offer, which is the world's fastest Thunderbolt storage. Jeff, but you know each other actually for 25 years. This is unbelievable. Years. We started working together at Sun. Um, I developed ZFS while I was there. Uh, Mike developed some hardware that used ZFS. Um, the whole uh, the uh, Z series storage for Oracle, and then Oracle got acquired. We went off to do a startup called DSSD. It was all about making the world's fastest flash storage. Um, and then DSC, DSSD was acquired by EMC. They got acquired by Dell, and uh, we had some time off after that and decided that we kind of missed doing this kind of stuff. So we founded Iodine. Uh, this time, not to solve enterprise problems, but initially to solve our own problems. Like we wanted to have high performance, reliable, RAID protected, encrypted storage, and it just wasn't out there. But originally, and I would like to ask Mike if you don't mind. Yeah. Originally, was that solution intended for the filmmaking industry? Or that was something that, you well, know, because obviously you're not originally from the industry, most solutions? That's right. We come from a storage background, but we're not filmmakers by trade. But when we were thinking about the idea of our company, thinking about what kind of professional users could benefit from high performance storage with reliability, encryption, and other features, we looked at what different markets would benefit from that technology, from the kind of product we were interested in building. And of course, it very quickly became obvious that media and entertainment is a space that would greatly benefit from this and where, frankly, the needs of customers were not really being met well by existing solutions. So a uh, very strong theme of our work uh, dating back 25 years, but also at this company, is to try to take some hard problems and solve them in a way that's really easy for our users. So our product has features like encryption, multi-pathing, and RAID 6. Those are really advanced storage technologies, but we put them in a package and with a software interface that makes them incredibly easy to use for media customers who are on set, they've got creative problems to solve. So in some sense, our job as storage is to get out of the way and let them be creative. And that's what this product does is it enables them to get the benefits of reliability or security or performance without having to be experts in those things. And that's what we think is exciting about this product. So Jeff, just because not everybody, of course, knows the product itself, the pro data. Mike was already talking in general about it, but if you have to summarize in two sentences what the Pro Data is best doing, what, what will it be? Well, it's the fastest Thunderbolt storage on Earth, and the thing that it will give you is high reliability through RAID 6, always on encryption, and the ability to multipath so that you can connect multiple computers to collaborate or multiple cables to make the connection to your one computer go faster, or a mix of both. You know, many people, when, we, when they hear this, and that also happened when I reviewed your product, some of the comments were, hey, but I have a NAS. Mm -hmm. What will be the main difference between a NAS system and what you're offering? It's a great question. So the easiest way to think about it is that you really have a, a spectrum of sharing how many different computers and people want to access files and performance, right? And in some sense, that's the easiest way to make a choice between these types of products. Uh, now, traditionally, that spectrum has been, with NAS systems, you can scale out to many users over Ethernet, and you, but you have very large capacity, but you don't have very good performance because your performance is limited by Ethernet, right? You can only go so fast. And then you have little SSDs that are really fast, but you can't share them at all, okay? So what our product is doing that's really unique is we're creating sort of a new category, which is we have something which has huge capacity, up to 40 terabytes, has five gigabytes a second performance. So that's a multiple times faster than what a NAS system can deliver. But it also has some sharing capability. You can create work groups of a couple people, a DIT and a couple editors on set, 
and you can collaborate in real time. So it's, it's very different. It has all the benefits of SSD speed, way more than a NAS system could deliver. It doesn't have all the sharing of Ethernet scaling, but for most of our media entertainment customers, they work in small teams. In fact, you're a small team right here, right now. We have a camera person and you. There's a small team at work doing a shoot. So to enable super high performance for small teams, our product is really bringing some unique things to the market. So this brings me to the next question, because a small team usually means on the budget team. And your device, of course, the performance comes at a price. How do you deal with this? Because I'm, I'm sure you're also trying to reduce this to be much more accessible. But how is the price performance as far as you're concerned? The price performance is really dictated primarily by the cost of NAND flash. The actual overhead cost of the chassis and the Thunderbolt connectivity and so on is not that high. Uh, so as the prices of NAND come down, our prices can stay competitive with that. Okay, that's, that's, that's a fair enough answer. Yeah. First of all, you just introduced a new framework update for the uh, Pro Data. That's right. What it's all about? Well, we added a couple new features that our customers uh, have been asking about. We should first explain that Pro Data is not just an SSD inside, is a system on a chip running our super smart storage software. And so for customers who have already bought our product, we're actually adding new features and making the device able to do new things. In this latest release, we've added a couple new features. One of them is a secure erase feature. We can do an instantaneous secure erase of the device. So if you're using it as an encrypted shuttle, we can just throw away the encryption keys from our secure enclave with a click of a button and you can instantaneously securely erase the asset and then use the device as a shuttle for a new project. Another feature we've added is a data scrub. So we have super high data resiliency with RAID 6. We can also do a background data scrub of all your assets to ensure that there's 100% media integrity. And of course that combines well with checksums that you take from your ingest program as well. Uh, so we have that feature as well. And then also we're pre-announcing today some features we're gonna be bringing to the software later this year, which will include support for Windows and Linux systems connected to ProData in addition to the Mac systems that we support today. Sounds nice. Jeff, I'm a small man. I like to travel light. I want to really edit on the go. Mm -hmm. Can I expect in the near future to have the same performance of what you do now, but in a smaller package? I think in general, you can assume that um, whatever we have now, we will be looking at bigger and smaller, uh, more expensive and cheaper. Uh, and it's really gonna be driven by what our customers in this space tell us they need. Um, obviously, you know, the ideal storage device would be the size of a credit card and have petabytes of capacity. So we are constrained by the laws of physics, but those laws do keep changing and they're in general changing in ways that are very favorable, especially with the focus on lower power consumption across the entire semiconductor industry. Nice. Anything that I missed? Anything else that you would like to share with our audience? It's now or never. Well, I, I'm gonna share a couple quick anecdotes. One is, you know, I think we want people to know that in addition to being the fastest Thunderbolt storage, we've got customers using ProData in a number of different ways. They're using it on set, they're using it for ingest, they're using it as a secure shuttle. They're also using it for playback and they're also using it for editing. Uh, Lola Visual Effects, terrific visual effects company, has transitioned uh, their entire playback environment to use ProData. Got great performance for that. One ProData device can play back, you know, 10 streams of 8K at the same time. Uh, We've also got incredible security and that security is now verified. A major studio just paid Leviathan Security, which is an independent security auditing firm, to try to break into our encryption to prove that it met that very high standards of security they have at their studio. And they gave us basically the highest rating they could. We have an independently audited paper and they were not able to break the encryption or password system we put in. So major studios are betting their security architecture on what we put in this product. And we're excited to share that with you and the audience today. Can be a nice marketing thing, you know, break to our system and get one for free. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Well, we'll try to keep everyone's data secure. And that is an important trend for the industry. So we're really excited that we're doing that at full performance and with ease of use. Jeff, anything that you would like to add or everything is covered? I think we got it all. Great. Gentlemen, really a pleasure talking to you and meet you first time in person. Thanks, Johnny. Great thank to you be very here much. with Cindy. Thank you. Very thank you. Guys, thank you very much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.